weather for the rest of our week. We're looking forward to this, Mike. It's going to be bouncing up nicely over the next few days. Uh, we have a couple of squirrels out on our fence that uh, if I just go, sk -sk 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 -sk, usually I can get Harper, our newer dog, to running out through the dog door. I don't hear the thunder upstairs from her yet, but maybe she couldn't quite hear me. 35 at 7 p.m., 27 by 9, and 22 by 11. Today, we started out at a brisk 8, which blew away the previous record low of 11 set in 1925. The average high temperature is 61. We hit 43 for today, and the record is 83, and that was back in 2016. 43 at the airport, 44 downtown. The barometer, 30.05. It's falling. Humidity at 32%. Winds are light. Now, here's the situation around the nation. Our snowstorm has turned into a terrible ice storm for parts of Texas and Oklahoma. A lot of trees down and power outages there. Cold over the Midwest warm and dry out west and this storm system moving away it will produce some very heavy rain down in the lower Mississippi Valley as Hurricane Zeta combines with that storm to create a lot of moisture where they don't need it. We could sure use more of it around here. It's not going to happen. Could be some slick roads southeast Colorado with just a little bit of light snow and freezing drizzle early tomorrow morning. Cold morning on the northeast. There's a little warm front coming across, so milder air starts to move in across the state over the next couple of days. It's still going to be a chilly night. We have clear skies, light winds, and snow cover. So temperatures in the teens to around 20 at lower elevations and in the single digits in the mountains and foothills by early tomorrow morning. So we'll start out with a cold beginning to the day. A little patchy fog may form again up in the South Platte Valley. By midday, sunshine, not as cold. And in the afternoon, some milder air starts to come in from the west. Some high clouds to the southeast. The temperatures bounce back a little bit, up close to 50 for lower elevations, generally in the 40s expected in the mountains. So we'll continue to see this warming trend for the next several days. 18 tonight, clear, cold. Tomorrow, going to be a sunny day and not as cold. A high temperature around 50. And looking ahead, start to gradually see those temperatures bump up. 57 on Thursday. Friday looks really nice with 63. Halloween will be in the low 60s. Should be clear, dry. Mid-60s Sunday. And then early next week, Monday, 70 degrees with sunshine. Tuesday, election day, should be mostly sunny, dry, no weather problems, temperatures in the upper 60s.